Hello everyone. In this video, we will see two important things. One, building a Docker image and deploying a Flask REST API in our Docker image. Alright, so let's get started. The very first thing we need to understand is a Docker file. What is a Docker file? A Docker file is a simple text file that will contains all the commands required to build an image. Right. So if you see, these are the commands, right? A simple commands, right? What we are doing with this command is we're just trying to deploy our REST API, right? And we'll quickly see the Python code. Uh, this is our simple Flask code. In case if you're not aware about what is Flask, Geonicon, I already made, made, made videos. I'll, I'll keep those links in the description. Please watch it. All right. So now coming to the point, what I'm saying is if you see the first line in my Docker file, I'm saying from this Python 3.6 buster. What is buster? What is all these things? We'll see it later right so i'm saying boss from this particular image let's see where this image is right so yeah we already familiar with our screen in this screen we seen in our last video python so let's search for i'm checking 3.6 did you see 3.6 buster i'm saying boss take this image python colon 3.6 buster right so python is my image name and for one image, you can have multiple tags, which means you can say multiple versions, right? If you see Python, right? I have Python 3.10, 3.9, 3.8. So I'm just typing Python 3.6. Again, in Python 3.6, there is a concept called Buster. As I discussed, as I said, we'll discuss what is Buster later. So I'm taking boss. I'm saying like boss, take this particular image, right? So this image is a Debian package. We'll discuss those later. So I'm just updating the operating system in case if there are new updates, it will update. And then I'm copying my requirement.txt file. So let me show you. Right. Uh, this is my requirement.txt file. So I'm, I need Flask and Geonicon. Right. So what I'm doing is with this particular command, hey, copy this requirement.txt file into my image okay so my image is on running on linux operating system with python 3.6 installed right and i'm saying in that particular linux operating system copy this requirement.txt file in this location from this location right and then i'm also copying my python code which is sample app.py and then what I'm doing, I'm running my requirement.txt file. We are aware about this, right? And what I'm doing is this step is actually not required. I don't know why I created it by mistake. And then later what I'm doing is I'm just running my Geonicon, right? As I discussed, in case if you're not aware about what is Geonicon and Flask, make sure you watch my previous videos. I'm saying I'm running Geonicon and I'm saying worker equal to 10. I'm just saying, you know, uh, map 0.0.0, .0 which is nothing but your IP, and I'm mapping it to this particular port, phone nines, and the timeout, right? So let's say if I hit this REST API, it should be able to respond in three seconds. If not, then you'll get timeout, uh, you know, error, and then I'm running my application, right? As I said, Flask is a simple, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Docker file is a simple text file which is used to you know build your image right if you see it is it's very clear step by step very first step i'm taking this image and then i'm updating my operating system in this two steps i'm copying my requirement.txt and sample sorry my python code in my operating system right and then i am running my requirement.txt file and then i'm running my flash application right now i'm done with my docker file as i said docker file is a text file which has the commands to create an image. Now let's see how to create an image. It's simple. I should open a command prompt in this particular folder. I already opened it. So this is a simple command, right? To build an image. I'm saying docker build hyphen t and this is the name of the image I'm giving and dot. Uh, 
right so the once you install the docker right this is what you'll get it right if you see i don't have any images here so now let me try to make it big yes now let's say enter did you see it says load build definition from the docker file right and then yeah it is just trying to load the metadata of this particular image right it is pulling that image particular image right and did you see this this is the command which we ran ran apt uh, which is used to update operating system and then it copied my requirement txt file my python code and it's running the requirement.txt now it is installing the flask right it, it installed the flask now it is into the g unicorn now if you see everything is ready it says exporting image layers all those things now let's go to the docker here right did you see we have an image here now we have an image ready in our previous video we discussed the two important things image and containers right so now let me run this container so to run the container again it's very simple let's go to the command prompt right and and if the command is docker run it i'm just we need to map the port right we said our application is running a double line double line right my api is running on double line double line port right so uh, we need to say double line double line from our local system right so docker is a container right maybe you can say it's a vm for our understanding right so what are the port right which is we mapped in docker file double line double line i'm saying also map in my local machine to double line double line right now just say enter you see now our docker image is running you can go to this container apps did you see it's up and running right now let's go to the browser and say local host double line double line do you see welcome to teja with data and of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right so now this is a simple a video i'm just closing the container now the container is stopped now if you go back here did you see it is terminated right you can also you know map to the different port right so maybe i'll say double three double three right the port double nine double nine which is hosted in my docker container is mapped to double two double three double three in my local system or wherever your container is hosted now if let's say if i run this it won't work right did you see it is still running now if i say double three double three it will run now this double three double three port is mapped to double nine double nine port which is hosted in our docker container clear so you may get a doubt right so when i'm running a container okay it's shutting down yeah right teja with data is my name of the container this latest this latest is a tag actually so when i don't give any tag by default it will take this you know latest as a tag right if you remember in my our uh, docker file we have this right python is our image name and 3.6 hyphen buster is our tag got it so hope you get some decent idea right how to create an image how to you know run an image right and of course how to host a simple flask rest api in our docker container so the very important thing last but not least don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you